There are some restaurants that are getting a boost to stay open. That's why we're launching a new segment called Restaurant Resurgence. Restaurant Resurgence! Oh my God, I love you. I look forward to these every time. Um, and we're starting with an amazing story of industry people coming together to save each other. Take a look. My sister started Lake Burrito 11 years ago. It is a true family business. The pandemic, of course, has been terrible. Our family restaurant was in real trouble. Had to let our team go, which is the hardest thing we have ever done. We were about to close our doors. I first learned of Lake Burrito's troubles on social media. Somebody had posted that um, they weren't doing well. I didn't know who they were, I didn't know the owners, I didn't know the staff, but when I learned that they were struggling, it broke my heart, and it just didn't seem right to sit on the sidelines. To be truthful, they have no idea that I'm doing this, uh, and I hope it's okay. I decided I would take to social media and record a quick video to say, hey, why can't we help? We're gonna donate 100% of our profits tomorrow to Lake Burrito, and if you can't, make it here, go to where they are. I had no idea what to expect. One of my sisters showed me the video and that's, that's how we realized that Steven was doing this amazing thing for us. When I got here, there was a line out the door and I heard the same thing happen to Lake Burrito. We had an amazing day. Business was incredible. We were able to bring our team back and ever since Lake Burrito is alive again. It just changed our lives. Welcome from Socks Love Barbecue, Stephen Hartsock, and from Lake Burrito, the Ratana hey. family, Alicia, Mildred, and their brother, Karis. Oh. Give it up! I, I love your shirts. Mucho good vibes, y'all. I need one of those shirts. That's an amazing shirt. Okay, so uh, Alicia, Mildred, and Paris, tell us a little about your restaurant and, and you know, what was happening. We were where we wanted to be after so much hard work. We were planning on opening the second location and then COVID happened and it was terrible. We had to shut our doors down for four months, for four weeks. Like one day is hard, imagine four weeks. It was terrible. But the most heartbreaking thing that we had to do was lay off our team of 12 people for all those four weeks. That was heartbreaking. Mm. It was terrible. Even after we reopened the doors, we had no business happening whatsoever. Our parents have always told us to be grateful and positive with life. But at that moment, we just couldn't. It was super bleak. For a second there, we thought we were had to put all our families together into one house because we weren't able to afford the rent. It was tough. It was really hard. Yeah, unfortunately, I think this is kind of a lot of people's story right now. Um, Steven, this took a toll on your business as well, right? So, but, you, but you caught a lucky break at the start of the pandemic, right? Yeah, absolutely. So most of our business, business at the time earlier this year was catering, and almost overnight we lost all of it. Um, but simultaneously, we started getting good press. Um, there was actually a, a national article that called us the best barbecue in Georgia. So that gave us a lot of attention at the right time. And, um, you know, it's tough. We're breaking even. Uh, my staff's here. We're good. Um, but I could easily see myself in the same position as them. Yeah, no, and that's scary. That's your life. It's your dream. Um, yeah. It's your income. Um, so, Mike, it's important to see yourself in someone else's position, right? Don't you agree? Don't you think that's kind of important? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, I think, I mean, I've worked in restaurants, you know, for a large part of my adult life to make ends meet. And I really, you know, I really feel for these guys because in a moment's notice, you know, this can be taken away and no one saw this coming. You know, no one saw this coming. I've actually used a lot of my platform to help other restaurants that I've worked at, restaurants that I've, I've um, been a patron of for years to try to make sure that they do to go orders, delivery orders. I actually have something that I'm doing with, um, DoorDash, trying to keep the restaurants open, you know? Yeah. 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 So, Stephen, um, did you tell anyone from Lake Burrito what you were doing before you posted? 
No, I didn't. Um, I just kind of went on faith. I actually had known about them and been a customer for years. And um, I figured time was of the essence. So I had recorded videos in the past and I thought, why not go on and just kind of record something real quick, a call to action to the community to sort of introduce my followers to them and, and say, let's go support them. Wow. Okay. So Alicia, Mildred and Paris, what was the response? Alicia, you want to go first? We came regular business. We were as ready as we thought we were going to be. And suddenly when I turned the computer, it just crazy. It was seriously insane. I think I had never in my life. So, so many tickets coming at the same time. Insane. Yeah. <laughs> like we look at the door at, right at 11 o'clock and there's a line of people. Good things happened. After that, we were able to bring half of our sta staff back. That was the most rewarding thing we had done in those like two or three months. Yeah, and it just tells you once again that yeah, mucho good vibes out there all over the place. Everyone is willing to be good to each other. Definitely. We just have to ask for help, accept the help, yeah. and realize that there is good. There is good everywhere. Just waiting to happen. Just waiting to happen out there. Yeah, I mean, and when you say mucho good vibes for everyone, that's actually what's interesting. Is Stephen, you were trying to do something amazing for someone else, but then you ended up having a line out your door as well, which does teach you that like having a servant's heart and thinking of others, you know, that, that kind of karma that comes back to you, that the universe sees that, God sees that. And what are you taking away from all of this? Yeah, so I've been in, in sort of the food industry for about 10 years and I've had a catering and, and restaurant for about five. And I've had to lean heavy on people and it's tough, it's tough. We work 80 to 90 hours a week and mm -hmm. You know, at the end of the day, what, what I wanted to do was, was reach out to the community, show some awareness, and then teach people that, listen, it's almost free most of the time to help people. Yeah, that's a great way to, I've never heard anyone say it like that. Um, well, Paris, now you guys have teamed up, right? Yes, we're super pumped. Finally, we're going to put amazing brisket from uh, Steven and some good burritos on our end, and we're going to roll an amazing brisket burrito. Oh my gosh, my mouth just watered. Are you hungry, Mike? <laughs> Always hungry. Um, so you guys, y'all are gonna teach us how to make it, right? We're gonna show That's you right. all our secrets. Okay, okay. Well, Mike is a vegetarian, so I'll take on the brisket, but he'll he'll be doing the veggie version. Yeah, I'm gonna so, smell hers, though. Yeah. <laughs> What's first? <laughs> What's first? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna, I've got a fully trimmed brisket Wait. here, and I'm gonna season it with, this is gonna blow your mind just salt and pepper. So get it on there really good. Okay. I can't see what you're doing, I but I'm sure you're rocking it. There you go. Yeah, put it on there thick. Okay. Right, so at the end, I, you, gotta, you gotta give it one good slap. Yes, just exactly. Like Boom. <laughs> oh, I kind of shook a lot of it there off. There you Hold go. On. Okay. That's okay. That's All okay. right, what's next? Yeah, we're, we're good. What's next? So what you're gonna do is just take this puppy and transfer it to the smoker. And what's what's cool is it's gonna take about 13 to 14 hours. That's all right. So is we'll that do cool? that right now. Okay, so that's in the smoker. And by the that's magic the of the TV. Yeah, you just give it a snap and then 13 hours later, you've got a two Kelly Clarkson Yes. Whiskey. Yes. Voila. Yeah, because this looks good and it we'll smells just, delish. Okay, Paris, how did Mike and I get started on the burrito? So let's make this happen. Mike, you're gonna get your fajita veggies. They look awesome, by the way. Mm -hmm. Kelly, let's take care of this beautiful brisket. Okay. First thing first, tortilla. Once we have the tortilla, we'll do white rice. Okay. Okay. We're gonna put a little bit of pinto beans. They go really well with the brisket. Some beautiful salt love beef brisket. I'm just using my hands because I have gloves. There you go. I'm messing up. Queso. Don't forget your queso. We always use some melted queso on top. Oh my gosh, I'm so here for this. Yes, you just keep pouring, brother. Okay. Oh, I like it. It's awesome. How do we fold All right, it? So now it's time it. to roll that burrito. Okay. Uh, I'm a little shy, but Alicia really loves to Wait, eat some kelly this when she when she rolls. Makes it easier. But we're going to hug it. It's called a hug. We're going to wrap, fold one side to the right. One side, OK. One side to the left. And start rolling. Give it a big hug. I think Ooh, I messed, messed up here. Too. but I, I messed it up already. Yeah, I think I'm out of No, I right, didn't. That oh, looks, I didn't. It's almost there. That looks like a quesadilla. But it looks awesome anyhow. 
What matters is on the inside. Mine looks like a case. Don't you worry, guys. Oh my God, I can't wait to taste it. Mine looks Let's dig in. Let's taste like that beautifulness. Okay. Oh. Mm. Oh my God, mm. it's so good. Mm -hmm. <laughs> this is awesome. I kind of forgot I was on television. I took a really big bite. Mm. <laughs> mm -hmm.